Hey guys, so I bit the bullet. I actually got myself a TP-Link EAP uh, 773. So let me bring that up, TP-Link EAP 773 access point. And that would be this guy right here. Okay. Wi-Fi 7, it's 2 by 2 by, um, for each channel, um, 2.4, 5.0, and 6, right? All three different bands, all three are 2 by 2s, so, yeah, and it was just under $200, so it wasn't too bad. Uh, they have a higher model, the 783, which is... 4x4, four four, which is more than twice the price. It was almost 500 and I didn't think that was going to be worth getting. Now, I also got this. This is the, um, well, the card. <laughs> Let me show the box real quick. So it's in the flesh. I got the real deal right here. Let me see if we can zoom out. So that's the actual thing, but... Of course it's for desktops but you can see it's got the actual card here that you can remove and put it in the laptop and that's exactly what i did yeah and yes this is wi-fi 7 and it's a qualcomm chip now it's already been kind of well known that um the intel be 200 which is the intel version of the wi-fi 7 for whatever reason does not work in on a amd platform uh, not sure why, don't know if it's incompatibility, a driver issue, or Intel specifically not making it work for AMD platforms, which is kind of a shitty thing to do, but you know what? That's them. That's on them. So this is really the only Wi-Fi 7 card that will work here. The other one would be a MediaTek but uh, as far as I know, that's only a 160 uh, megahertz, whereas this one is a 320 megahertz for the six gigahertz band. Um, the other part of the issue is, of course, is, let me see if I can get this focused up right here, is this. Um, so you can see, by the way, uh, let me see if I can get this closer. It's installed Qualcomm Wi-Fi 7, 320, yeah, I know it's a little dusty. I can never get that completely cleaned up. Now, I originally had this installed when I had the, let's see, version 699 of the kernel. Okay, you can see it there. Um, of course, people are saying, oh, it looks like it was going to be fixed on 6.9, uh, 6.11. Oh, crap. <laughs> it's, so 6.11 still hasn't been out yet. 6.10 is going to be coming out soon, but I'm on the 6.9. 699, 6, uh, 699, 6910, 6911. Oh, I misread that. I originally I thought it was, I got the 611, but I don't. But anyways, I don't think I've seen anyone document what happens if you, you know, with the compatibility of the Qualcomm chip. So, I mean, a lot of people you know, on the forums talk about it, but they don't actually see there. I don't think there's a video of it. So I'm connected. And in fact, let me pull up another screen. It's ping. I believe it's, was it W? And then it says go google.com. Is it big W or I little W? Hold on, let me figure it out. <clears throat> okay.
<laughs> I found out. Uh, I have to put a one there for one second. So basically, I just want to say, hey, unlike DOS, you know, if it does not respond, it actually doesn't tell you. So you have to give it a timeout. So I give it a timeout of one second, which is a thousand milliseconds. Just so you can see, everything looks good, right? The driver, you know, it's it's part of the kernel. The ATH12 uh, is the driver that it uses. And any kind of heavy traffic would cause it to bomb out. So let's see if we can reproduce that really quick. And I'm using speed test. That is the command line version. I'm only about maybe two rooms away without any walls. So I want to say about uh, 30 feet away from the access point. So that's pretty bad speed already as is. So let's bring this up. I find that the graphical version always seemed to have a higher speed result. Already, it's not responding. Strangely, this is not. Oh, look at that. Disconnected. Alright. So I'm using this camera thing stand for my, a mini one for my can, uh, for my, um, uh, camera? No, cell phone. So, if I go plain mode, I can't even do that. I can't even shut off my Wi-Fi. I notice it just kind of locks up. And as I thought, see, this isn't even moving my, my ping. Again, I don't know why. I'm not that versed with Linux still. Without that W, if I just do that, it wouldn't even give me an error. It would just pause like this when there's a problem. It doesn't say like timeout or anything. So with the W1, it's supposed to. In other words, if it goes past one second without any response, there should be, you know, something that tells you, hey, um, not reached, right? But I'm not getting that. So... That's the problem we're, we're facing. And in fact, sometimes when I try to tell it to go into airplane mode or shut off Wi-Fi and turn it back on to see if I can get it back online like that, but that would completely lock up the, the laptop. But this time it didn't, but it's not, see, there you go. So it's not, um, The issue is that it does, it's different. It varies, you know what I mean? The resultant. But reality is it just doesn't work. It doesn't matter what the resultant is. Either it locks up completely, hard locks. It does this. Oh, finally, it shows that it's uh, in airplane mode. So let's see what happens if we get it, take it out of it now. Will it work again? Nope. Seems I've just died. All right. So as you can see, even the ping doesn't want to see every time it happens. So I, I've, this time I'm filming it, it looks like it's still responsive. Um, LSPCI, grep, I, network. If I can type. 
So it's still seeing it. Okay. But the only way to get this back up and running again is to um, reboot. Yep. So that's the state that we're in right now. And right now I'm on Fedora 40 and the current kernel that is available is uh, 6911. So I'll do that again. You name R 6911. And those are my past kernels are like, you know how like when your computer, uh, you can always go on, uh, when you boot, you can pick which kernel you want. Like, so if it's, it stops booting or you're having some issues with the current um, kernel version that you upgraded to, you can always pick a previous, two previous versions. Um, you know, this is a fail safe. And so these are the other two that I had prior to the upgrade. Now, I was told 6.10 would uh, have a lot of the issues fixed, but it still locks up. And then 11 is completely all good from what I heard. But it takes about four weeks from it being in the testing realm to production. So maybe another two weeks for 6.10 and then of course these little smaller iterations and then eventually we'll have 6.11 probably in another six weeks so another month i am holding on otherwise it's like i'm you know the this is going to be whoops <sighs> Come on, it's it's bent over towards so gravity. <laughs> Anyways, what was I saying? I lost my train of thought. Anyways, it works in Windows though. Um, works in Windows 11. It's not any faster than the Intel AX210 that I bought, which is a Wi-Fi 6E that you saw me. Um, change to from the media tech I this only affects heavy traffic so as long as I am not using this for heavy traffic while well, I'm not using this computer I'm just using it to mine um, <laughs> so why not right and that doesn't cost you know it doesn't take up a lot of it's not bandwidth heavy so it's not gonna do anything bad like this so i'm gonna keep it for now only because again even though it's a repairable laptop you guys saw what i had to go through to actually get to the inside to even get it replaced it's not as easy as just removing all of this stuff right remember after you remove all of this stuff guess what there's like 16 or so screws in here that you gotta completely take out and after that you know the the wi-fi card is really fidgety to pull out and get in and you already know the antennas are very very delicate the little connectors so i don't want to keep pulling it in and out unless i really have to now if i end up having to use this laptop as my um for any real sense of work then sure, I'll go through that trouble. But right now, not so much. Oh, and before I do, because I'm gonna see if I can reboot it into Windows. This is what I mean. I told it to, sh to reboot, you saw, it's still on, and I'm staring at a black screen. So it hard locked. So I can't do anything else, but to push and hold that power button, You can see the light underneath. It's going to take a while to turn it back on. 
All right, I'm gonna boot this into Windows. All right, I'm in Windows now, and I just booted up. It's been about a few seconds, and yeah, it took a while to connect. I don't know if it was out talking. I actually was hoping that I got everything ready and then I'll just start recording. Well, it was waiting for a while. So I ended up, you know what, let me start the recording and show you one issue that I have noticed. Well, it looks like it is connected now, but the reason why I said all of that was it took that long to connect, you know? Maybe I should have started recording while it was booting up so you guys can see it in real time, but it took a while to connect. Normally, on any other wipe, including the AX210, it practically connects right away, even before I log in. So by the time I'm logged in, it's like I'm already on the network. That was not the case with this. So they really need to uh, optimize that driver. But as you can see, Wi-Fi 7. All right. I'm connected at 5 gigahertz. I still don't know why it's not connecting at 6. Probably because um, we're still waiting on the next Windows update to do that. If I recall, I don't know why Microsoft is kind of behind on their, their what was it again? That, that update that everyone's waiting for. Q2H, whatever. I, I don't know these numbers anymore. I, I give up. But... Specifically, they even said it themselves, Wi-Fi 7 is not fully supported on 6 gigahertz. Um, there's no 6 gigahertz. There's no MLO support until the next update. It seems like it's ready because it's already out for Copilot PCs, which are on ARM, which is another thing. Uh, Copilot is not going to be available until the next update. And this is why I feel like Microsoft is still deliberately holding back. Um, that update, which is bullshit, to be honest. But they've got it for Copilot PCs, which is already out. Copilot PCs, meaning ARM PCs. Not that ARM is the only one that will have Copilot. They pushed it out the update early so that they can advertise and sell the Copilot PCs with the ARM processors. But they did not do that for a uh, for x86 machines yet, which is why. They basically screwed AMD. AMD came out with the Ryzen AI 300 series CPU, and they can't even advertise that it's a Copilot PC yet because Windows doesn't support it yet until the next update. When will that happen? Oh no, <laughs> later this year. Um, but anyways, that also fucks with me because I can't connect at six gigahertz until then. But I'm connected at 5, and you can even see that I'm not connected at AX. I am connected at the newer Wi-Fi 7 BE. So, let's do this. Again, why does it take so long to respond? Ugh, yeah. Even in the sitting in the same spot with the AX210, I was getting 400, I believe. I'm not very optimistic about Wi-Fi 7. Maybe it, it does take a, need a little longer for it to mature. As of this date, this is the, really the only easily available, it's not even that easily available for some people, Wi-Fi 7 card for AMD. So Intel is really screwing AMD customers.
but at least it's not locking up. And I'm second thinking my choices now. I'm wondering if I should go back to the AX210 and maybe return this, even though I have a Wi-Fi 7 access point. The reason why I even got the access point isn't just because of Wi-Fi 7. That was a perk. It was to basically replace my current access point, which I don't know if I told you. I think I told you guys. I've been having problems with it. And so far with the new one, I don't have that problem. So I know it's my access point. And again, Wi-Fi 7 is just a perk. And I got this because I don't have any other clients that have Wi-Fi 7. My phone is a Pixel 7 Pro, which is 6E, which does occasionally connect at 6 gigahertz. I don't know why, but sometimes it just doesn't. I have MLO enabled on my access point. So, and when I do force it on 6 gigahertz, it's only slightly faster. It's not really worth connecting at 6 versus 5. I only have a gigabit internet. And truth be told, I'm on, I actually would like to see, I was hoping to see it to be, <clears throat> excuse me, mm. my voice. I'm getting a sore throat, the more I talk, sorry. Um, <clears throat> I wanna have an endpoint at least one endpoint that is Wi-Fi 7, okay? And it's not just for the internet. I think that's where I was going, sorry. It's for um, transfer speeds from my NAS to my endpoints. My NAS is only a gig two, but I was, uh, I, it's a Synology that has a 10 gig port upgrade path. That's an expensive path, by the way. It's $100 for the NIC. Uh, so, um, that's what I plan on doing. Um, hoping to upgrade past a gig for my network. And that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, my optimism went down as I was making this video in real time, so... <laughs> all right so what am I gonna do I don't know I still gotta think about it but I have mixed feelings now about this but I wanted to make the video so you guys can go through that with me too um my tip is wait if you can um if oh shit Real time. Anyways, if you're curious like me, want to see it for yourself, do it. It's up to you. I did it. I, I, I pulled the trigger because I was curious. And I, I am experience this, experiencing this in real time for myself. So, yeah. All right. Well, I am out of here and... Bye.